Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your February 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading. I do post new readings every Friday and Monday. Mondays are a different style every week. Fridays are always a general reading. All right, we're going to begin here. What advice do you have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Virgo? Messages for Virgo, please. All right, we will lay out the tarot here, and I'm going to take a Sacred Destiny Oracle card, which have already been shuffled for the sake of time. And I'd also like to ask, if you don't mind, to hit the like button. That way people will see the reading. Your current situation, you've got the Queen of Wands. The immediate influence is the Eight of Cups. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. In your subconscious, you have the Two of Cups in the distant past. You have the Nine of Swords in the more recent past. You've got the Knight of Wands coming towards you. You're represented by the Fool. The person or situation you're attracting is represented by the Eight of Swords. You've got the Tower here in your hopes and fears, but judgment. So you got a decision. And I feel like something that has been stalled out with that Eight and Nine of Swords, if it's a job or it's like something that is... Or a person, too, if you met somebody and things went off the rails, I feel like you might have somebody new coming in, okay? If it went and it's like this Eight of Swords, this confounded, confined energy, I just don't see that sticking around. Um, so the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, you and your own energy, the Three of Cups, and the Page of Cups. So I definitely feel like you have new opportunities for love, new love interests, and if, again, if it's something financially, too, I feel like you've weathered the storm. But with this, you have the card of focus. And I realized recently, I watched my reading, a reading on the computer for some reason, I can't remember why, and I realized how close the cards look on a computer. So I'm trying to hold them a little farther away. So I hope you can see this if you're watching it on a phone. It's a, it looks like a cheetah or a leopard. How about a leopard? So perhaps if... um. If you're into leopard print or something, that may be a synchronicity, but they're telling you to focus, okay? That focus on your goals, focus on really what you want. It reminds me of, Abraham Hicks has talked about this quite a bit. When you go through a buffet, you don't walk up and down the aisles trying to find everything you don't want. You don't even pay attention to it. You go, oh God, muscles, I don't like those. You know, and then you keep going. You go, oh, good dessert, creme brulee. I love that. You know, and then you keep looking for things that you want, right? And so it's like focus on what you want to bring into your life and it'll be yours. And so with this energy here, we've got uh, Virgo energy. We've got the Archangel Gabriel. And then we've got three major arcana. Plus we've got the two queens here as well. So I definitely feel like with the page of cups and that three of cups, you've got much better times ahead. And if you're stuck in a jam right now, I'm sorry, you have four because you've got the fool. How could I leave out the fool? Shame on me. Um, but I do feel like with that energy, you're about to start a brand new cycle. So I mentioned before with the hermit, that's your inner guidance, your higher wisdom guiding you with that lantern. But you notice too, he leans on this wand. This is always interesting when you have something like the hermit, know thyself with the fool. And the fool has the wand casually slung like it's not even magical, but it is. And so I feel like for some of you, you may not be aware of your full power or your full influence in a situation. But I do see you as moving forward, no doubt about it. Now, the Three of Cups can be a reunion card. I wouldn't rule out getting back together with our Two of Cups back here. I would not rule that out, especially with the Page of Cups, because the Page can also be the return of a relationship. Um, but I will say for you, if that is not for you, you have something better coming in here. You do have a connection, but I don't feel like it's one that is something you're dreading, okay? It's really about bringing in connections that bring in joy. You also have fertility here too. So if you're in a relationship and wondering and saying, we've had a tough time in that arena, I do see you as you got fertility, all right? So 
With this, though, that Page of Cups is a very intuitive energy, and the Hermit is know thyself. So follow your intuition. Listen to your inner voice. Don't poo-poo it. If you have a strong dream and you have an inclination one way or another, follow it, okay? Know that your wisdom, your guidance system is is here to talk with you. It's like your, your channel right into the universe is coming in through you, and sometimes we we tend to mute that that guidance. We just tend to kind of, you know, rationalize it. We use our human mind to talk ourselves out of it. So with the um, Three of Cups too, I will say if it's a friendship that's been on the skids, I do see you as getting through that to some extent, but it may not be back the way that it was or if it was a sibling that you've had a falling out with. I do feel like they're trying to tell you, though, to focus on the positive qualities, especially if it's somebody in your family or a good friend, um, in order to have some sense of peace with it, okay? To make some sort of, uh, you know, good, some healing on it. So you have the hero's journey here twice with the Eight of Cups and the Fool. And with the Queen of Wands, that wonderful Queen of Wands, that's an energy of expansion. It's an energy of you know, making gains. And so with this, she's a, an energy to a very trustworthy people around you. It could be someone who's rather soft and gentle and maybe doesn't try to monopolize or dominate the conversation. But when they do speak, they're very wise. And when, and there may be somebody here too, that I get like a, um, you know, we talk about red flags in people. How about the green flags? This is a green flag person. Somebody who remembers small details about you. Again, this could be just a friend. It doesn't have to be a love interest every single time. Somebody who uplifts you, who sees the good in you. Somebody when you're done being around them, you feel better for it. You re you kind of recall the conversations or you recall the humorous moments. And when you think of them, that's all you think about is the good. That's that type of person. So I definitely feel like with the Eight of Cups, if you've had a lot of red flaggers around you, you may find that that's changing. And like I said, if you had a difficult turn of events with one of them, they may not retake the same position in your life that they had. I just feel like you're going to bring in new people. And so you may find that you, you're more invested in new relationships in this energy. Now, if this is about a job, the wands are the upwardly mobile, so you are definitely making gains. This is like getting a promotion, but I will also say, too, with judgment here, the archangel helps you find your true life's purpose, your life's calling. And so if you're starting something new on your own and it's kind of uncharted territory for you, I do feel like you're going to make a go of it and you're going to find it to be a successful venture. And if you're moving, I still feel like you're going to, and you've been waiting and waiting, and it seems like, is this ever going to work out? I do feel like with judgment, this is the message. It's that time of hearing the calling, right? They're getting the call that they're getting into heaven. That's what the card represents. So since I have this in my hand, I do feel like, too, with this, judgment is the second to the last major arcana, and the full, of course, is the first. You almost have a full cycle here. But I definitely feel like you have freedom coming in, whatever it is about where you're going to move forward and you're not going to feel heaviness. You're not going to feel weighted down by old challenges, old unfinished emotional business. This is going to bring you into a much better place. And if it's a new relationship, I feel like especially with the fool, it'll feel like the first time you've ever been in love where you really feel free, where you just don't feel, like I said, weighted down by baggage. He carries in that bag. He carries all the tools he needs through all the experiences he's had, but he doesn't feel heavy. It's not like the thing is dragging on the ground and he's going, oh my God, I can barely handle this. No, he's like springing. He's got a spring in his step, so kick in his step. This is happiness and it's coming right for you. So with you and your own energy here twice, I like this a lot. The queen of pentacles is coming out of your subconscious. So you've got money, you've got prosperity, you've got abundance, but what we sometimes don't highlight is the Queen of, of Pentacles has great relationships. She is very committed to her family. So in terms of attracting committed, devoted people, that's what you're doing here. You're attracting opportunities for yourself in terms of advancing in career and with money. And if you're asking about a home life, she is a perfectionist. So you will attract the very perfect house or living situation for you. And it's also, too, I feel like you're going to have the ability, if you are moving, 
to decorate in the way that you want to. And you might find that it takes a while, that you're very specific, you're very particular in this energy. Whatever it is that you're asking about, you're going to be particular. You won't just jump into anything here. But it's also not a... Being particular is also not being stagnant. So it doesn't feel like it's a big delay. It just feels like, again, the things that you will, you will, the choices that you'll make, you'll look at, you'll look back at that time in your life and say that was such a great cycle. So the two of cups is behind you. And I mentioned for some of you, what I feel like you thought was a match and what seemed to be going along got disrupted. That's what it feels like. So if it was a job and your job was going great and then all of a sudden you hit the skids and went, oh my God, how did I end up here? With this Two of Cups energy, it, it acknowledges that there was a match. Now for some of you, this is a soulmate energy. So if it is about reconciliation, right? We've got both the two and the three here. There's a point in this. There's a reason for this. Those of you that are really feeling strongly about it, it is in the cards. But I feel like you're going to have to find joy in the journey and move along with other things, especially if you are, you know, if you are having a hard time with it. It's like, I feel like they got to, you got to let go of it and allow yourself to move forward in other ways for it to return. Otherwise, we pinch the energy off and it just won't do it, especially too, if we're worried at all. This will kill a manifestation quicker than just about anything. So with this Nine of Swords, it's needless worry. But the problem with this card is when we do this, we start attracting things that match it. So we worry about what if this doesn't happen and then the Eight of Swords becomes our day-to-day -day life. So with the Nine of Swords, and when it shows up, they're trying to tell you no. Know that you are being protected. Know that the universe has you. The universe has heard what's in your heart and wants to bring things forward. So with this Nine of Swords... It's a time of awareness. It's a time of awakening and realization. It is a new beginning that will bring in clarity. So the Knight of Wands comes in. This is the Knight in Shining Armor. So if things haven't been moving along with a money offer, if it's a job and you're like, God, this paperwork is taking forever, or it's a housing situation, and again, it seems like it's just been on standstill or pause, this will help hugely. Because this one cannot stand delays. This one does not want to be bored. This is, like I said, we are getting the job done and we're getting it done today. So if there was an oversight, especially with anything financial, this will be great. Because this is somebody that says, we can't keep doing this. And so I love their attitude because it'll make things get done. So with this Knight of Wands, as far as uh, relationships are concerned... I do feel like this is about being light, being easy, and allowing yourself to get out there and have some fun. And if you're in a relationship that seems to have stalled out and not a reconciliation, I'm talking about you're currently in one and it's been a little dry, it's time to do this. It's time to go out and have fun. Let's put it on the calendar. Because with that full energy, you've got a new cycle. This is a big transition and it feels so much easier. So with the fool, it's also about attracting trustworthy people around you and having a clean slate. So anybody that's making a change, this is great because you hit the ground running and you feel it feels easy. There's nothing holding you back here. And in terms of, again, new relationships, there's no baggage. There's nothing weighing it down. It's complete freedom. So we talked about this a bit. This Eight of Swords is too much thinking. It also can be too many people in the mix, especially financially. If there's too many people and there's people making mistakes and not following up and not following through, it's because of this. So I definitely feel like you have a, you have a solution to it with the Knight of Wands. And the tower is in your hopes and fears. So the corporate raider comes in. And for some of you, you're saying, this is a card that says if you take control, you're going to feel much better than if you wait. So for those of you that are like sending the emails and following up, there you go. If it was a relationship that ended, it may be time to let go of it, okay? And just let go of it. And if it wants to come back to you, it will. As I always say, what is meant for you won't miss you. What's yours won't leave you. And so if it's for you, you'll find with this judgment, here you go. This is the answer to it. This is the Let's talk. Let's see Let's see what else we could do here, okay? But with this judgment energy, they rise up from anything that confines them. They're free. They're celebrating. You have a turning point here. So anything that's been delayed is definitely 
moving forward. So let's see now what the Fortune Oracle wants to add in here for you, Virgo. You've got the owl. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition, okay? So we got the owl and then transition. We know that from the fool, but let's see now what the whispers of love want to add in. Be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. So good things are on the way for you, Virgo. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.